Okay, welcome to my channel of English Grammar and today I'm gonna show you the use of punctuation and it is about comma. Comma is a little bit complicated. Okay, so commas and periods are most frequently used punctuation marks. Commas customarily indicate a brief pause they are not as final as periods. We use period at the end of a sentence, but comma is not like that. It is used usually between words. I mean, it is in the middle of the sentences. Rule 1, we use comma to separate words and group word groups in simple series of three or more items. <clears throat> For example, my estate goes to my husband, son, daughter-in-law, and Lips you here the word the word husband, son, daughter in law and the pure it is called yeah a word group so what is yeah a word group or oh, call it it is a series of words yeah a series of items so we use comma to separate them okay husband comma son comma daughter in law comma and lips you So, when the last comma in a series comes before end, or, or up, for example, after a daughter in law, yeah, in the above example, it is known as the Oxford comma. Yeah. Or at the end of the word, the last word, before the last word, we use comma, yeah, and end, or sometimes we use or to talk about the alternative. And now we talk about the additional idea, so we use end. So we add comma, okay, right before the word end. So it is called the arts word, okay, arts word comma. Most newspapers and magazines drop the arts word comma in a simple series, apparently feeling it is unnecessary. However, omission of the arts word comma can sometimes be lead to misunderstandings. So it, yeah, it is the choice that you want to use last word or not. But if uh, it can cause misunderstanding, it's better to use it. Okay. For example, we had coffee, Chinese and crackers, and grapes. In fact, here, Chinese and crackers are one series of words. So. And they are related, see? Okay. But here no comma here. So it is the yeah, the confused words. Adding a comma after crackers makes it clear that cheese and crackers represents one dish. Yeah, one dish. I mean one dish with two kinds of food here. Cheese and crackers. If you do not place comma here, I mean, uh, it is, yeah, confusing. You, you don't know that cheese and crackers are of one dish, okay? If you uh, separate it with comma, you know, oh, cheese and food, uh, yeah, cheese and crackers are of one dish, okay? In cases like this, clarity demands the answer comma, okay? In order to make it clear, yeah, here, we used a uh, word comma. We put comma here. Yeah. So we can say we had coffee, cheese, and crackers, and and grapes. Yeah. Cheese and crackers, comma and grapes. It's clear. Okay. And we have fiction and non-fiction books generally prefer the arts word comma. Writers must decide as well or no arts word and not switch back and forth except when omitting the arts word comma could cause confusion as in the cheese and crackers example. So in the fiction and non-fiction books, yeah, we prefer arts word comma. Okay. And if the writer decide to use arts word 
or do not use as word, he has to keep, yeah, keep it coherent. Yeah. I mean, uh, through the whole book, if he does, if he doesn't use, yeah, no use at all. If he use, yeah, use it always. But, but in some case, that there, there might be the confusing meaning because of the omission of the the as word comma, we should use it. Okay. Like it is in front of cheese and crackers above. Yeah. Okay, fiction story is imagined story. Non fiction story is the it is story based on real facts, real events. The root we use a comma to separate two adjectives when the order of the adjectives is interchangeable. I mean we can place one yeah with another position of additive and the same meaning is still yeah, meaningful. He is a strong healthy man. We can also say strong healthy th strong man. Yeah. Make sense? You understand? Yeah. So we use comma to separate the two adjectives here. Yeah. We stayed at an expensive summer resort. We could not say some more expensive resort because if you uh, interchange the word expensive and summer here, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. You do not understand it because the meaning is complicated. Yeah. So we do not use it like this, eh? Okay. And we cannot we do not need to we cannot uh, see bread here. Yeah. So we, we, we do not separate it like this, okay? Because if you separate, it is complicated meaning, okay? So we use no comma. Another way to determine if a comma is needed is to mentally put N between the two additives. If the result still makes sense at the comma. I mean, if you put n and here it is equivalent to comma because it gives more information it is additional id additional word yeah it is impossible a strong and healthy man makes sense but an expensive and some resort does not okay Role CA. Many inexperienced writers run it to independent classes together by using a comma instead of a period. This results in the dreaded run on sentence or more technically a comma splice. I mean, uh, there are many, many ideas, and he wants to express the ideas uh, by using comma to join them all and always comma. Yep. So it become a run on sentence or a comma supplies. Yep. He is, it is incorrect. He walked all the way home. He shut the door here. One sentence. One sentence and here. One more sentence. But we can he used comma to separate the two sentences here. I mean it it looks like he's joining the two sentences. So it's incorrect here. So we have the remedies. We can use this. He walked all the way home. He shut the door. Okay. Period. One sentence and period. Here is another sentence. Not joined together. Yeah? It is not joined together. Here it is also correct. After he walked all the way home, he shut the door. We use it as the the adverb clause it is the dependent clause and here it is the main clause so we can join the dependent clause to the main clause and we place it before the main clause so we can use comma before the sub clause right it is correct us as well he walked all the way home and he shut the door we use n if we use n we can use comma before n okay? and it is the compound sentence that is joined by n. 
is the correct. But remember, you cannot use yeah like this, okay? Cannot use comma to join two sentences together. And now let's go to rule three B. In sentences where two independent clauses are joined by con connectors such as and or but yeah we can say they are the coordinator that the friend boys yeah? be pulled comma at the end of the first sentence yeah, like in this case yeah what like in this case he walked all the way home and he shut the door it is it is incorrect because there are two independent clause here yeah two independent clause and they are uh, joined by n so there must be comma here okay here it is the correct one he walks all the way home comma and he shut the door yeah. when two independent clauses are joined together by friend boy or coordinator they are called compound sentence Some writers only the comma if the clauses are both quite short. Okay, I mean, yeah, there is no subject, there is no adverb, there is nothing but just a single verb word. Okay, so we can omit comma here, right? Yeah, it is optional, and we do not need to put comma before and like this, right? I paint and he writes. Yeah, it is a single word verb. It is the same. Yeah, it is can be used like that. Rule three, three. If the subject does not appear in front of the second verb, a comma is generally unnecessary. Yeah. But sometimes a comma in this situation is necessary to avoid confusion. Here it is the confusing one. I saw that she was busy and prepared to live. Yeah. Usually we do not place comma here okay, because there is no subject in this. Yeah. There is only the verb and here the verb. So we do not we do not need to place comma before end. But in this case, if we do not place comma we might feel confused with the verb prepared. I mean, uh, she prepared, yep. Yeah. In fact, she prepared to live because she was busy. But if we do not use comma here, I mean, she was already, or I mean, she had planned to prepare to live, okay? So the meaning is different with with no or no comma, with or with no comma, okay? So it is clearer with comma. I saw that she was busy and prepared to live. I mean, first she was busy and then because she was busy, she prepared to live. So it's clear, okay? Without a comma, the reader is, is liable to think that she was the one who was prepared to live. Rule 4a. When starting a sentence with a dependent, a dependent clause, use a comma after it. Okay. We usually uh, the dependent clause depend on the, the independent clause, so they express or they give information or they describe the dependent independent clause when they are placed before or in front. There is comma after them. For example, if you are not sure about this, let me know now. Here it is a uh, conditional clause with if, and here is the, 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 uh, the independent clause, and here it is the imperative. Okay. Uh, so we use comma because here it is dependent clause. Okay. So we follow the same policy with Introductory phrases. Introductory phrases are the phrases start with present participle or past participle. If it is the present participle, 
it show the the action yeah yeah the action that is inactive if it is past participle it it is like the passive voice okay so this means the subject will be uh, the one who is passive okay? and now let's see the example having finally arrived in town we went shopping okay so here yeah. Having finally arrived, it is the present participle, the present participle, the participial phrase, yeah, and in the perfect participial form, okay, we went shopping. It is the verb of we here, okay. Yeah? So we use comma after the phrase here. However, if the introductory phrase is clear and brief, I mean there is only three or four words, the comma is optional. Yeah. When in town we go shopping. I mean it's easier to to understand, it's clearer than the above phrase. So if it is short like this, only a few or four words, we can omit comma, okay? And it's still meaningful. But always add comma if it would avoid confusion. Con yeah. Confusion. Like last Sunday, evening classes were cancelled. If you do not if you do not keep comma here, I mean they might be confused last Sunday evening okay so to specify that it is last Sunday not about evening evening here it is related to classes and yeah, not with Sunday okay? so we use comma to separate them yeah, to separate them right it's clearer with comma when an interrupted phrase begins with a preposition a comma may not be necessary even if the phrase contains more than three or four words here it is the preposition that starts the the sentence and it is the phrase as well but it's it is still part of the verb of the subject in the main clause for example between your house on main street and my house on grand avenue the major's mention stands proudly okay? Here we use the comma, yeah. We use the comma because here it is, yeah. The 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 subject, and here it is the verb, okay. Yeah. So we use comma between your house on my on Main Street and my house on Grand Avenue is the measures mentioned. Yep, yeah. the positional phrase yeah? and here the verb is okay? the verb is and here the subject we can say the measures mention is between your house on main street and my house on Grand Avenue but in this case, we yeah, we want to emphasize the, the, the position or the place of the house. We want to, to focus on what we want to stress on it. So we place the prepositional phrase at the front of the sentence and uh, we we use the verb here rightly after the preposition. Okay? So there is no comma. Eh? There is no comma here because here it is the verb. But in this case, you see, it is no verb. But the subject first here, yeah? the subject first, and here stands the verb. So it is comma here. Okay, so this is the difference. We have rule for B. A comma is usually unnecessary, and when the sentence starts with an independent clause followed by a dependent clause. Okay. Everyone, I hope you understand something about independent clause and. Dependent clause, yeah. 
in the evening class, uh, the classes that can stand alone and can, and it can be meaningful by itself. For example, I go home. Yep, I love the beach. See, it is meaningful and it can stand alone by itself. And there is a subject and a verb. But uh, the beginning clause, it depends on the main clause to be meaningful. Without the main clause, the, the beginning clause is nonsense because it is, yeah, because uh, it missed the meaning in the whole yeah, sentence. And so, for let me know uh, now if you are not sure about this. Okay. Okay, so now. Uh, if you are not sure about this, it is dependent clause. It, okay, it is uh, noun. It, it is uh, if not uh, uh, if clause. That is a type of noun clause, and it is here after the main clause. Let me know now. So there is no comma here. Okay, there is no comma in here. But when it when it is the if clause like the the above mentioned above mentioned, uh, if it is used the main clause, there is comma after if clause. Rule five, use commas to set off non-essential words, clauses and phrases. Okay. I mean the 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 words or the clauses and, and the phrases that are not essential. I mean, they they they. They are clear, we, we understand them already, but we just use them to, uh, yeah, to, to give more idea or to uh, give more information. But the information is of a type that can be missed out or can be omitted without the loss of meaning. So those are called non essential words. Yeah. Let's see the example Jill, who is my sister, shut the door. Okay. It is incorrect one, but it is correct one. Jill, who is my sister, shut the door. Okay. okay. Who is my sister? Yeah. Who is my sister here? It is called what? Yeah. It is clause. Non essential clause. Okay, and it is of the other two class type. Okay, who is my sister? Jill is the name. It is the proper noun. So, the yeah, the other two class that is used to give more inf information about Jill. It is not essential. I mean, it is not important. Okay, so we use comma, and here no comma. So it is incorrect in this case. Okay. The man, knowing it was late, hurried home. The man, knowing it was late, hurried home. You are, yeah, sure of the man who he is. So, knowing it was late, it is just the the non-essential words and phrases. And here it is the participial phrases. I mean the verb in ing form. Okay. So we have to yeah use comma. Yeah. Yeah. We enclose the the phrase with commas. Yeah, two commas here. Okay. And here no comma, so it's it's wrong. Okay. It's wrong. In the preceding examples, know the comma after sister and lead. Non essential words, clauses, and phrases that occur mid sentence must be enclosed by covers. Okay? Enclosed, I mean, before and after. Okay? The closing comma is called an, a positive comma. Many writers forget to add this important comma. Following uh, two instances of the need for an, a positive comma with one or more nouns. A positive comma. Okay? The comma that enclose the, the, the noun or the phrase or the clause that are considered 
non-essential, okay? Because they they are used only to give more information about the noun, yeah, the the precedent noun, so they can be they can't be omitted. So they are placed, yeah, among or between the commas. My best friend Joe arrived. Okay, Joe. It is the noun that give more information about my best friend. Okay, so we need to separate it with comma. Okay, my best friend comma Joe comma arrived. Okay, it's right here. It's wrong. The three items: a book, a pen, and paper were on the table. It is incorrect one. Yeah. The three items, a book, a pen, and paper, were on the table. Everyone, do you notice the difference between the correct and the incorrect one? Okay, see here. See? Here, no comma. So it is incorrect. Here, with comma, it is correct. Okay. Why correct? A1, why? So let's go. Uh, yeah. If you do not use comma here, it means uh, you do not see bread. And do you do not show that a book, a pen, and a paper? You you do not show that they are the uh, positive. They are. I mean, uh, you do not show that they are just the additional idea to explain items. What are those items? Yeah, they are book, pen, and paper. Yeah, and here is the verb. So we need to spread with comma. Okay. Yeah, it's right here. Roses, if something or someone is sufficiently identified, the description that follows is considered non essential and should be surrounded by commas. Freddy, who has a limp, a limp, was in an auto accident. If we already know which Freddy is mean, the description is not essential. Okay? Freddy, we know already, and this the, the the proper noun, the name of the person. So it's clear who the person is. So who has a limb here? It is just the non-essential clause. Okay, it is the additive clause. We call it the non-restrictive clause. I mean, it is the non-necessary clause. Okay. The boy who has a limp was in an auto accident. Okay. We do not know which boy is mean without further description. Therefore, no commas are used. Okay. The boy, yeah, this is the common noun. Yeah, who were, who has a limp? It is very necessary. Yeah. Without who has a limp, we cannot we do not identify or we do not Describe who the boy is. Okay, so there are many boys. We want to focus on the boy who has a limp. That was in an auto accident. Okay, so here without comma because the noun here we do not know clearly. Okay, this leads to a persistent problem. Look at the following sentence. Now, see how adding two commas changes that sentence's meaning. Yeah. Oh, okay. I said, but my brother Bill is here. My brother Bill is here. Now, we see how adding two commas changes that sentence's meaning. Okay. My brother Bill with no comma. See? No comma. But now there is comma. Yeah, there are commas. Okay. 
My brother Bill is here. What is the difference between here and here without camera and with cameras? Okay. So careful writers and readers understand that the first sentence here it is the first sentence. Okay. The first means I have more than one brother. Okay. I mean many brothers in I mean, uh, we, yeah, we want to focus on Bill because if we do not uh, focus on Bill, that that is one brother. I mean, the other do not understand which brother of my of mine. Okay, so we want to focus on it. So this means Bill is necessary, important to be known. So we uh, do not use comma. Okay, do not use comma. But bill here, look at it. The bill in second sentence. What does it mean? Yeah. So the commas in the second sentence mean that bill is my only brother. Okay. So this means there is only one brother, and you want to show that you are sure. Yeah. Which brother you want to mean? So bill here. It is yeah. Only one brother of mine, so it is not necessary to, to to be placed here. It can be omitted. So that's why we can separate it with commas, yeah, before and after bill, yeah. And it is also called the a positive Why? Yeah, in the first sentence bill is essential. Okay, it is essential information. So it identifies which are the two brothers or more brothers. And speaking of, this is why new commerce in close bill. Okay. And in the second sentence, bill is non essential, it is not necessary because we, yeah, the other know already that I have only one brother, so bill is not essential. Okay, so I can separate bill with commerce before and after. Okay, home else, but bill could I mean? Okay, only bill, only one. Okay, hence we use the commerce. Come on, misuse is nothing to take lightly. It can lead to a train wreck like this. Mark Twain's book, Tom Sawyer, is a delight. Okay. There is, yeah, there are commas. Yeah. Okay. Come on, and close. Yeah, Tom Sawyer. So, what does it mean? Because of the commas, that sentence states that Twain wrote only one book. Yeah. With comma here and here, with only one book that Twain wrote. Because why? Yeah, because it is clear that only one book, that's why we use comma. Yeah? But in fact, Twain wrote many books. Okay? So this means this is the misuse of comma here, okay? Yeah. In fact, he wrote more than a dozen of them. Yeah. If you, so, if you want to focus that, he uh, wrote many books, not only Tom Sawyer. We omit comma here and here, okay? Yeah, no comma. Rule 7, 1, yeah, 7, a. We use a comma after certain words that introduce a sentence, such as well, yes, why, hello, hey, etc. It's important. Why? I can't believe this. These are the words that are used at the front of the sentence. Okay? And why here is not just to ask question about reason. No, you can't have a dollar. Rule 7b. Use commas to set up expressions that interrupt the sentence form. These are not yeah, used as the conjunctive adverb, but they are only the expressions that interrupt the sentence form I mean they come after the subject and between the subject and a verb. Okay? They are in the mid sentence. They are not used to join sentence, but they are in the mid sentence. Okay? 
like never to lose after all. By the way, on the other hand, however, for example, I am, eh, by the way, very nervous about this. Okay? They do not join the sentences, but they just in the sh they just uh, show yeah show the idea in the middle of the sentence. Okay, so we use comma to enclose them. Yeah, I am, however, poor. Okay, I am, however, poor to pay for the bill. She is, yeah, she is, by the way, one of the most interesting girls. Eh? Yeah. Rule 8. We use commas to set up the name, nickname, term of endearment, or title of a person directly addressed. Okay? The name, yeah, your name, nickname, the name that is called informally, and the term of endearment refer to the words or phrases of person to show his love to someone in the title, okay? So we just come up with them as well. Example, will you, Alizor, Alizor, do that assignment for me? Okay. Alizor, here is the name that you want to, uh, want to refer to you. So we use come up, okay? To enclose Alizor. Yes, all friend, I will. Comma and comma. That is the word of India. Good day, Captain. Yep. Good day, Captain. Yep. So let's go. Rule 9. We use a comma to separate the day of the month. There is a day and the month. Yeah. So we separate them. From the U, okay? So it mean uh, the day and the months are of one unit and we we'll separate them from the U. And what most people forget, okay, always put one after the U or so. I was in the Sun's June 5th, 2003 edition, okay? It was in the Sun June fifth, comma, two thousand three, comma edition. Okay. Sun is Sunday, and June the months, yeah, yeah the months fifth. It is the, the the day and the months and comma we separate them from the year, okay. And there is the word edition here, so we also place comma after the year. But what is about it was in yeah, June Feb's two thousand three and that is all so there is no comma here, yeah? just the full stop. Yeah. No comma is necessary for just the months and the year. There is no day, no comma, okay? Yeah? For example, it was in uh, June two thousand and three article. Yeah. yeah, no day. No comma. Rule 10. Use a comma to separate a city from its state and remember to, pe to put one after the state. Yeah. You put the city after the state. Yes, state first, then after city. But comma is between the state and the city. Okay? And from the Akron. Ohio area. Okay. A crown here it is the state and Ohio here it is the area. Uh, it is the, the, the city. Okay. Rule 11. Traditionally, if a person's name is followed by Sir, Azure, Sir here means senior. Senior I mean the title of the person who is older than the, the other family member. Okay. And Jer here, it is Junior. It is the title of the person younger than the other family members. Okay, Sir. If the person's name, yeah, is followed by these, yeah, Sir and Jer. 
Okay. So we use a comma. Yeah. A comma follows the last name as well. Like Martin Luther King J O. Okay. Here, J O J O follow the name here. So we place comma here. Okay. This comma is no longer considered mandatory. I mean, minute. It is no longer mandatory. Yeah. I mean, it can be optional. Okay. However, if a comma does precede, it I mean precede, yeah. S R or G R. Another comma must follow the entire name when it appears mid sentence. Al Muni, Al Muni, sir, is who? Okay. You can say like this. No comma here, but it is still correct. Here yeah. is here. Al Muni, comma, sir, comma, is here. Okay. No comma. Yeah. No comma to enclose here. Comma in close, okay? Two commas. Correct and correct. Yeah, all correct, but here it is wrong. Almunia, comma, sir, and no comma, it is wrong, okay? Similarly, use commas to enclose degrees or titles used with names. Almunia, MD is here, MD here it is the title, okay? Yeah. Use comma between sorry, to enclose I mean, before and after the title or the degrees. Rule 13 A use commas to introduce or interrupt indirect quotations. With the quotation, we use comma as well we want to introduce. Okay, like he said, comma, I don't care. Here we use command to introduce the quotation. I don't care. Is the quotation okay? And why, comma? I asked. Don't you care? Why don't you care? But here, it interrupt. Okay. So why, comma? Quotation mark. I asked, comma, and quotation sentence again. Okay. Don't forget to place the question mark in the quotation mark. In this case, it's important. He said, I don't care why I asked, don't you care? Okay, yeah, the same. This rule is optional with one word quotations. Yeah, in quotation, there might be only one word, so we can omit comma. He said, stop. See? Only one word, stop. So, we do not need to use comma. He said, comma, stop. No. Yeah. It, yeah, it is no need. If the quotation comes before, he said, she wrote, they reported, Diana insisted, or a similar attribution, if what attribution here, it is referred to these. Yeah. These are the attribution, I mean the words that are used yeah, to help make or to help do something. So these are the words that are used to help make the report or to make the, the reported speech. So that's why we call them the, the attribution. Okay? The end, yeah, and the quoted material with a comma. Even if it is only only one word. Yeah. I don't care. Comma. He said. Okay. Stop. He said. Because. Yeah, because the addition follow the quotation mark. That's why we need to. Yeah, need to use the comma here. Even though it is one word or more words, yeah, the same. 
Use comma. Eh? Do not omit it in this case. Okay. If a question, yeah, if a quotation functions as a subject or object in a sentence, it might not and need a comma. Okay. Is I don't care. All you can say to me. Yeah. So uh, I don't care here. It is regarded as one. Yeah. One noun, okay. Yeah, you can regard it as one noun, okay. And is I don't care all you can say to me. It is a subject here. I don't care. It is a quotation sentence, but it is the subject. Yeah, it's the subject in this case. So you might not need comma, okay. No need comma here. Saying stop the car was a mistake. Here it is the object. Yeah, the object. Yeah. So no comma as well. If a quoted question ends in mid sentence, the question mark replaces a comma. Yeah. Now it is in the mid sentence. Okay. So we do not need to use a comma, but we, we use the question mark. Okay? Will you still be my friend? Question. Yeah, I did the question. Yeah. Quotation question. She asked. No need to use comma here. Okay. Use a comma to separate a statement from a question. I can't go, can't I? Yeah. It is the statement. It is, it is the question. It is called the task question. Question task, okay? Just come to the bread, okay? Just come to the bread contrasting parts of a sentence. We add the additional idea. That additional idea is contrasting to the, to the first one. So we also use comma. For example, that is my money, not yours, okay? It is more information given to the first idea, to the first noun here, and it is contrasting to the first one, so we just come out to show the contrasting ideas. We just come out before and after certain introductory words or terms, such as namely, that is, i.e., e.g., and for instance, when they are followed by a series of items, okay? Such as is used to, to list down thing that you want to, to, to show as a list, okay? And that is used to explain something, you know, to give more information about something. Namely, also to, do, to explain, to, to tell something, okay? Yeah. I.e. is the same to, that is, okay? E.g., for example, yeah. Yeah, for instance, also for example, the same meaning, yeah. so we just come out with them as well, yeah, before, yeah, and after, yeah. You may be required to bring many items, comma, e.g., comma, Sleeping bags, pants, and warm clothes. They are now in the mid sentence, so we use comma here and here, yeah, before and after. A comma should precede the term, etc. Yeah, precede mean here. Yeah. Many authorities also recommend a comma after etc when it is placed mid sentence. Yeah. Mid sentence, not at the end, okay? So we use comma before and after. Sleeping bags, pants, warm clothes, etc. Yeah? Comma, etc. Comma, are in the tent. Note, everyone, here. The abbreviation IE means there is, EG means, for example. And now, it is the end of my slideshow. Thanks for your attention. Okay. See you later.